Hey, this is Havoc, and I'm here to show you how to manually save your ARC game. Now, this is going to be if you're playing solo. Uh, if you're renting a server, you're going to have to go onto your server's website and um, back up your game uh, on their website. If you have your own server that you're running off of another computer, this should work for you. Otherwise, this is probably going to mainly appeal to those who are playing a solo game and want to know how to save the game manually. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually get to your save file location. And I'm going to show you two different ways because there's two different possibilities um, of how to get there. So if you have the game installed on your C drive, which is your main drive, you're going to click on that, go to program files by 86, go to Steam, Steam apps, and here uh, go to common and then you would see arc here but my C drive is really small so what I had to do is I had to install it on uh, the peripheral drive and it's named Civ6 I should have named it just Steam but so this is the Steam folder uh, ignore that's named Civ6 so you go in here Steam apps common just like we did in the C drive and here uh, is where you'll see the games that I have installed. Click on Arc, Shooter Game, Saved, and then if you're playing Ragnarok, I think this should say Ragnarok, Saved Arcs Local, or the Island, Saved Arcs Local. Uh, anyway, you click on that, and then these are your saved files. And this one right here, where it just says extinction.arc, if you're playing Ragnarok, that's just gonna say Ragnarok.arc or the island.arc. And this is your primary save. This is where you're going to leave off uh, when you go to load the game. Um, and here are some of the auto saves. The game just automatically saves every once in a while. And then here are my custom manual saves. And so uh, I'm going to show you how to manually save it. So we'll get into Arc. And just hit Tab and type in save world and actually before I hit enter notice the last time it was saved was at 457 a.m. on November 15th 2018 so what we should see is this should save like 458 or 459 uh, some later time and then when I hit enter notice it's just gonna um, lag just for a second Okay, so now it says 5.13 a.m. So that worked correctly. Now, it doesn't mean much if you just save it and don't do anything else with it uh, because it's just kind of, it kind of defeats the purpose, I guess. So you're gonna wanna copy it and then paste it. Now, it makes a copy of it, but what I do is I, I'll just rename it uh, to because what I do is I work my way up to five, then I'll delete the first three, and then work my way back up again. Uh, but you can just figure out what system you want to implement uh, to keep your save files organized. Uh, now, if you're going to change something, like in your .ini files, like if you're going to change the uh, wild dino max level cap, or if you're going to mess around with anything system-wise with the game, I highly recommend always making a copy of extinction.arc and let's say okay let's say uh, you get into arc and you're playing solo and the game is updated and you start the game before the updates complete and you have the S plus mod activated when you get into the game your S plus stuff is all gonna be gone and you're gonna be pissed um, and you're gonna wish that what you would have done was made a copy of this uh, before you loaded the game and then if you want to load a previous save file let's say this one got corrupted I can just uh, go to the most recent one and just um, I would rename this I, I would just rename it like garbage or something or corrupted file and then I would rename this one extinction.arc and hit enter 
and then that would make this the primary save file. So when I go to load the game, it would load that most recent file. And of course, I would make a copy of it before I started the game again. That way, if I got into the game and all the S plus stuff was still gone, I would still have a backup of that most recent file. So, um, it, you know, it's anytime that you're gonna do something in Arc where you're changing around file locations or anything like that, uh, just be aware that you should um, make a, a save, save file, you know, copy it and um, come up with your own system. And if if it's not working, you might have to enable uh, admin logging in your options uh, in the main menu. Or you could try admin cheat space save world. And again, you saw a little bit of a lag there and that should work. Uh, and again, if you're playing on a rented server, you're gonna have to go to the website, back up the server there. And uh, it's a little bit less out of, you know, it's not as much in your control when you're renting a server. If you have your own server, you should just be able to do what, um, what I showed here. So I hope this uh, helped you understand a little bit better on how to save your game in ARC. And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could make a save file before you did something dangerous. I don't do that because I kind of feel like that's cheating a little bit. Like if I go to tame a Gigantosaurus in a hostile zone, you know, saving before I go in there in case I die and, you know, whatever I brought in there dies, uh, then just reload it. I mean, you could do that. I don't, but I'll leave that to your discretion. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. Godspeed, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.